in further evidence that the major service providers are taking a firm control over network technology evolution and not leaving it solely in the hands of their vendor partners, the Open Networking Summit witnessed the debut of a new CSP-led initiative, the Common NFVI Telco Task Force. Now if you go back to Open NFVI and look at the how many configurations they have for NFVI, they have more than 60 different NFVI configurations available. And what that lead to VNF being tightly coupled to a specific NFVI configuration. And that, and that brings silo deployments in our network, which is really not what NFV is really promising us so far. When we started OPNFV, and I guess even NFV in general, there were you know, lots of options for ways to do that. You know? And so that's led to within OPNFV a very large number of scenarios. It's led within operator environments many numbers of different flavors of uh, NFVI and diff you know, variances between service provider to service provider, which really makes it more difficult for those VNF vendors to sort of write once, run anywhere um, with the service providers. It makes it hard for the service providers to get out of the box VNFs. You know, they would virtualize and then we would put it in the lab and we'd have to come back and say, well, your performance is terrible because you haven't optimized. Um, and I'm sure the other telecoms had the same experience. So, you know, if we create a common platform that says, okay, you have to create um, VNFs that, that, you know, are optimized for, for a infrastructure platform, that benefits everybody. We've got a task force we've put together and we're trying to work, we're working on two different efforts. One, um, they had already started an effort, Orange and Vodafone started an effort um, to uh, write a standard spec in GS to submit to GSMA. Great effort, good work. We don't want to stop that work. We want to participate and continue that work. And then we want to drive that spec into OPNFV and the OVP platform and create a testing bed for those finite number of NFVIs. So that you can come to, NF to OPNFV, certify your VNF, and then when I get the VNF from the vendor, I know it's already been certified. It reduces my time to market, and it helps us all. GSMA has defined three set of profiles for VNF to run on top of. There's three, defined, three profiles defined already. One of them is for basic workloads, like IT applications. One of them for network intensive applications, and the last one for compute intensive application. What that means, OpenAV can take these profiles and make them the best for their verification activities. But well, that brings us as industry a common way of certifying VNFs as well as NFVI against those standard NFVI infrastructure that we could certify everything against. We think that the OPNFV um, is the place for that to be. You know, it's, it's an existing organization within the Linux Foundation. And um, what we're really talking about is NFVs and NFVI, which fits within that OPNFV framework. So we feel like that's the place for this to be hosted and, and to reside. We don't want to be competing, we want to be collaborating. So you've got, um, you know, in the NFVI space, you know, we are active participants in uh, OpenStack. And so, you know, we'll bring some of the OpenStack work to the table. There'll be others bringing the ONAP work to the table. There, it all comes together and we work together. And together we're better. All that really means we are moving more toward cloud native. Since the infrastructure will be fixed and standard across all VNFs, then VNFs will be able to easily deploy their application against a common infrastructure without having to operate each single VNF deployment separately than others. And that will bring much easier way to operate our networks by having this consistency in the infrastructure. We want to innovate faster. Everybody does. And so if we can do that and work together to help the whole ecosystem move faster, we all win.